Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart. I'm back again with another challenge card. The challenge is to make a fall card and not use brown. So this is a card that I really struggled with. I think my card looks somewhat springy, even though I tried really, really hard to make it more fall. So it's an A2 size. It's starting with a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And then I'm using paper from Stampin' Up! Everyday Enchantment that I had in my stash. Haven't used it, laying around. Thought it'd be good to use it. And it's got sort of this, like, distressed around the edges. So I thought, you know, it kind of looks fall-like. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter for this piece right here. And then this is five and a quarter by four. So... I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I like how my card came out. I'm also supposed to use brads, which I didn't realize I was supposed to use. Um, I wasn't, I was supposed to use brads um, until I looked at my email and I saw that I'm supposed to use brads. So I was like, oh, darn. I pulled out my brads and then I'm going to try to find a way um, to use those brads while I'm making the card. So hopefully I'll be able to, to do that. So I'm gonna put this down here. And what I did was I used, shoot, I'm trying to remember. I think this came from, I wanna say botanicals, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I know, this came from Cindy, from the, um, the Cindy Lou cartridge. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it is cut at two, two, two and a half inches. And I probably could have put brads here, but I ended up putting rhinestones because I didn't realize I was supposed to use brads. And so I took my Tim Holtz Distressing Tea Dye Ink and I kind of went along the edges of my, um, of my fence. And then this is all in gray and pink flowers. So I've got it all on foam tape. And I'm gonna set this down. And actually I think I've discovered how I'm gonna use brads. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be creative. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to be creative. So I'm trying to get a lot of cards done before work starts. We're actually starting the school year in California very early. Yeah, because normally we, we start um, after Labor Day, and then we, we started a week sooner. A lot of schools around here are starting a week before. Um, but our school is actually starting two weeks before. So it's pretty early. Okay, so I'm going to kind of center this right here. And then I have another fence piece here. And this fence piece came from Everyday Paper Dolls. I, I actually really like that fence a lot. I use it a lot. And this is also on foam. And I'll put that right there. And then I've got this other fence for the other side. And what I, what I did was I just made a big fence and then I just cut it down to fit the size that I wanted and that's a good way of doing it too so I just I try to cut it where it made sense too so there's that and then to make it like more fall And I'm also supposed to have leaves on it. So hopefully this counts because these are like some sad leaves. But I've got the leaves from my pumpkin. That's that's what I did for leaves. I just, I don't know. I just couldn't, I couldn't do anything in brown. I'm just not creative enough, I guess. Okay, so I put pumpkins. And there are green leaves on there. So... That hopefully meets the challenge. My um, sentiment is giving thanks. And this is from um, 
the vintage picnic sentiments and I have found a lot of sentiments in here that I like to use mainly because they're the right size for me to use my favorite um, punch my modern label punch fits right in there for all of these so I stamped it in the orange and I put it on mounting tape but what I'm going to do beforehand to meet the challenge is I have these small um, brads silver brads from Stampin Up so I'm going to go ahead and use them. I was looking for my piercer. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Actually, I'm not going to put it on the card. I'm going to do it right here. So I'm going to actually stab my card here for this one. And I'm going to stab the other side. And feed my brad through for both sides and this way I can make sure that I meet the challenge of having brads and leaves my leaves are kind of sad they're just the tiny leaves on top of the pumpkin but I just can't do it without brown I don't know I just couldn't do it I think leaves I think green I think but brown you know for fall especially here we don't we don't our leaves don't change color, so it's hard for me to cre be creative that way. California, the leaves are green or they're brown. They don't change color, at least where I live in California. So it's kind of how that works. I'm trying to get hide this brad edge. It's like not wanting to get through. Okay, there we go. All right, it is on foam tape. This card is almost done. My first fall card. And I'm going to put that right here. And here you go. Here is my card, my first fall card. I used brads. I used leaves. And I did not use the color brown anywhere in my entire card. This is Cindy with Creating with a Heart.